Hi, how are you? This is Sandstorm here, back at Bo's Glorious Empire. Bo, please do introduce yourself. Hello, I'm Bo. And we are back in Hearts of Iron 4, the best grand strategy game on the market. Anyway, Bo and I created a Discord server, and if you're interested, just go down to the link in the description, or however else we promote Discord servers, and uh, go check it out and join the Discord server, and move up in the ranks of Bo's Empire. Anyway, Bo and I are here playing as Monarchist Germany and the German Empire. We are led by Hat Guy, August von Mackensen. But we are soon to be led by um, the Kaiser again. We got two days until the Kaiser gets back from vacation. Exactly. He was taking a nice vacation in the Netherlands, uh, which we are also going to invade soon. But we are at war with the Allies. We occupied France, and we're still at war with the UK. But we're going to try and take out a few more continental nations before we deal with the threat of the United Kingdom. Alright, I'm about to garrison up my troops here. Yeah, that's why we couldn't do spearhead last episode. We did not have together for victory enabled. We agree. But now we do. And everything is hunky-dory, tickety-boo, amazing, and ready for takeoff. Speaking of takeoff, let's move our planes over to the Calais airport and set them out over the Benelux region. We're going to be going after Belgium and the Netherlands and some other small countries around here. We can create a faction with people. Not Czechoslovakia. Rebuild the nation. Let's see. What, what good folks. Alright, now we're going to... Oh, wait. No, the Kaiser is still on a 70-day vac vacation. Kaiser has now uh, been on his uh, multi-year vacation. Yes. He'll be back soon, though. Mm. Now that we've taken over France, we'll, we'll be all good. Oh, the ger oh, this map looks so good. As long as we get rid of the Netherlands... Belgium and Denmark, the map will look even better. Let's get German pressure just for fun. Yugoslavia, we are coming for you. Any neighbors here who are... Oh, Belgium. All right, Belgium, let's get your um, rubber. No, we actually don't need... They're not going to fulfill our trade request, but that's why we need to take over Belgium so we can get their darned rubber. Right. Actually, their rubber is probably coming from their, uh, their African colony. Can we not do... No, 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 no. What are you doing? Yeah, we just no. We can do war economy. Please. We just need um. We just need the political power. What Our navy just gets killed every time it goes out. We just need to hold. Do we only have eight ships now? Yeah, we only have eight ships. Oh, uh, Luxembourg is a negative one hundred opinion. Let's see who else hates this. Um, all the countries around us have a negative one hundred. So we're gonna want to split our forces. Have your ten go. Let's have the eleven go up to cover mm -hmm. um. Once this, once this conflict is over, um, we can go up and cover the Netherlands, and then we can have, um, then we can go to war with um, Luxembourg. And we've got about a hundred days left until Belgium. Okay. Oh, checking back down to four speed. Let's oh, get that wait, back what? up to five. Assisting enemy. What do you mean? I can justify on the Netherlands for only 185 days right now. I think I'm going to do it. So right Why? after we're done with Belgium, we'll just do the Netherlands. 69 days. Lima. Oh, the Kaiser turned. Also das sind die berühmten Wiener Salzstangen. Ja, und ich bin neugierig, wie sie dir schmecken werden. Na, ich auch. <lacht> Na nun, da ist ja was drin. 
in dem Saal schauen. <lacht> das ist ja. Was ist denn? Das sind ja. Das sind ja Noten. Ja, Noten, das ist eine ganze Oper. Ich habe jetzt so etwas möglich. Was ist denn los? Im Salzstand von seiner Estate sind Noten drin. Noten in Salzstand? Das darf doch nicht vorkommen. Ja, ich kann nichts dafür, ich habe es nicht hineingegeben, Exzellenz. Soll das vielleicht eine tiefere Bedeutung haben? Also bitte, mir ist das wirklich ein, <lacht> ein Rätsel, wie so etwas da hinein... Da ist ja schon wieder was drin. Das ist doch ein Abendraum. Ist schon wieder was passiert? Natürlich. Man kommt nicht zum Essen. Moment. Wieder Noten. <lacht> Mal sehen, was da drin ist. Ah oh nein, das ist ein... Ein Brief ist Ein Brief, ja, ja. Eine merkwürdige Post. Habt ihr da einen Öl? Nein, ich. Ja. <lacht> Eine Salzstange vor. Ja. <lacht> Euer Majestät. Na, jetzt weiß ich nicht, ist, ist der Brief äh, an dich oder an mich? Ja, bitte, nachdem der Brief in deinem Salzstange drin war, muss er wohl dir gehören. <lacht> Euer Majestät, mit gleicher Post über sende ich ehrfürchtigst einen neuen Militärmarsch. Ah, Ach so, das, das ist ein... Ein Marsch ist das. Und falls Majestät an der Komposition Gefallen finden, bitte ich um umgehende Nachricht. Ihre Untertänigste stand sie Hübner im Bäckergeschäft Babenberger Straße 7. Ja <lacht> Was, um umgehende Nachricht, das ist aber eine ungeduldige Person. Ja, bitte, ich, ich muss dich wirklich um Entschuldigung bitten, dass <lacht> so etwas passieren kann. Wirklich ein Rätsel. Ah, da bin ich aber neugierig, ob hier auch wieder was drin sein wird. Ich auch. Bitte mach Nee, ist leer. Na Gott sei Dank. Also, wenn dieser Militärmarsch nur halb so gut ist, wie die Salzstange, na denn. Gut. <lacht> Oh, it's so good. Look at all the troops that just deployed. Yes. Right, we're gonna do naval effort. We're gonna do naval rearmament, uh, naval effort, and Wait, then. Wait, no. Do you want to do, do the uh, thing where we go to, like, take memo, or no? Uh, no, that's what we're going to do. Yeah. Wait. We're they might actually not accept it for war. Eh, it is what it is. We'll give it a try. They have an okay. We're gonna do this stuff first because we have to do all this stuff first. We're gonna do focus on the true enemy. We have to do uh, uh, rearm. We have to do naval rearmament and then naval effort. Then we can do focus on the true enemy, mm. rebuild the high seas fleet, our place on the sun. Then we can do prepare for the next blockade and central powers. Then we can force Austria, the Kingdom of Hungary, and Czechoslovakia tonight. Then we can prepare for the Italian coup, assassinate Mussolini. Okay, so apparently war, which we Italy the French, better. oh, the British and French get the option to, okay. The British and French have refused to accept the return of our Kaiser, calling it an outrage. Well, we're at war with them, so we've got to obviously... Yeah, we refuse the ultimatum because France has capitulated, so I mean... What you gonna do? Let's see. Are we gonna get the Kaiser? Kaiser turns. Protest against the Kaiser leads to war. Well, we're already at war! What do you mean? Uh, wait, 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 let me... Uh, uh, alright, um, Wilhelm, Wilhelm II has second returned. All right. In a surprise announcement yesterday morning, the German government officially lifted the exile on Wilhelm II. Yeah. Later in the day, the old Kaiser motorcade passed through the Dutch-German border and upon return to Berlin was ceremoniously resigned as Kaiser of the German Empire. The Kaiser has already been vowed to see that Germany has returned to its old greatness, but it remains to see which direction the nation will take with it diplomatically. Long live the Kaiser! Is he back? Just to get the Kaiser. He, yeah, he is. Wait, but his picture is still... Come on. There we go. Look at him. Wilhelm II, leader yeah, of the German Empire. Good. Look at that. An anti-democrat. He just does amazing things. Oh, right. He's got less... Um, What's it called? Advisor cost and everything. We want to do war economy, right? All right, here goes. War economy. We got it. Well, would you look at that? Oh, we have 84 factories. Oh, it was... Remember when it was 69? I don't know. Oh, we got a damaged civilian factory. The British are bombing the crap out of this tile. I think I'm uh, I'm gonna send some some fighters over there, so that, that would be we don't get like bombed the crap out of. I think we should have enough fighters over here in the Benelux region. We don't even need to have air superiority, to be honest. They are quite tiny. Oh no! Oh dear! 
Oh, now we're getting we bombed in Eastern Germany. They're just moving their bombers around. What happened to our giant super fleet? No, we only have like eight ships now. But they're in the what? Danish belts and uh... What? We're gonna have to go take out Denmark soon. Mm, Bo does not like Denmark anymore. Let's see how much time we got. Okay. It's probably pretty close. Oh, it's actually 23 days. Are we paused? Too much news. Or are we just janked? Next. Should we see to the Eastern Front? No, not yet. All right, now we're gonna do focus on the true enemy. Ooh, yeah. Good. Good. Six days, Bo. Six days. Okay. Netherlands? About 80 days. Just picturing the banners of the German Empire, the black, the white, and the red, striped down over, um, over the, uh, over the halls of Parliament. So the Kaiser's on. face portrayed everywhere. You know, just plaster the Kaiser's face up. You know how London has all those security cameras? Yeah. So we find out where all the security yeah. cameras are and we just plaster the Kaiser's face over them. Modern problems like, require modern solutions, you know what I'm saying, Bo? Oh, and I'm gonna declare war in Belgium. We declared war. How many casualties did they take? 80,000 casualties. We've only taken 22,000. All right, let's reorganize on the uh, Dutch border. Um, I'll use the pink army. Oh, the jank is real. All right, the pink army is going to be the holding, and the blue army is going to be the spearhead. Um, I'll spearhead the blue army into their victory points here, and... The pink army will hold. Okay, that should do it. And when are we doing them? About 60 or 70 days. We just got the Belgian Congo. <laughs> Bruh. Well, that's screwed. Um, maybe we should actually invade the UK if they... If we see that the German Empire is getting invaded down in Africa... They're then we should to. go do the UK because that means that they've got all their divisions. Um, do you want to? We're gonna do re <laughs> um, all right, sure. Just hit five times speed, real quick. There's some divisions in the UK. Yeah, we should do the UK soon. How many factories are here? Let's see. Factories. Oh, there's like there's only one building slot in the whole thing. Should we just destroy the factory? That's down there. Let's leave it. We'll get it back soon enough. It's like those uh, ads for Joe Biden. It's like, Bo's mind is slipping. Deep in the heart of Delaware, Bo Biden sits in his basement, alone, hiding, diminished. No! All right, Bo, I've got an idea. Uh, what we should do is not actually, um, like, commit m anything to Luxembourg and just invade Britain and then leave one division at Luxembourg so that their division will leave their victory point and then we just walk in and capitulate them instantly. All right? Pretty smart. Because we're gonna need all of our actual troops probably for the invasion of Britain. Oh yeah, so, the British have got all their forces in Africa. After after um, the after Netherlands, these. we gotta start doing um, an invasion of the British mainland. That would be cute. Absolutely giddily grand. 
We're gonna be at war with the Netherlands in 14 days though. Well, it just needs a mouse that works. Like, not any of this fancy new crap where it's like, it detects the surface underneath. Just wants exactly. one with a little wheel on it so that any surface will work. Do you know what? The older ones are so much better. Because it's literally like anyone will work. Sometimes the British take their ships out of random ports, like, and sea zones, so it's okay. Usually they, like, put zero ships in this area for some reason. Uh, so if you're Germany, you have eight ships. Oh, they have zero ships in this zone? Interesting. You know, a pair drop's gonna be more efficient anyway, because you can just go right across the English Channel. But, I'm right if you line. don't have paratroopers or anything, you can take this little excursion out here. Actually, the naval invasion might be dumb enough that it actually goes through the English Channel. So you might not be able to get the invasion, but those naval invasions are very janky, those arrows. They go around like whoop de doo and places you do not need them to go. Three days, Bo. Three days, Bo is ready. He's gonna right, go to the- get us up to five times speed real quick. Zoom us through those next three days. Uh, delay has been completed, Bo. Put on the next doctrine. I'm gonna declare war on yeah. the Netherlands. Yeah, wait. Keep, keep pause, keep pause, because I gotta do the doctrine. Keep pause. Oh my god, oh, there's no, so many- it's unpaused, it's unpaused, it got unpaused. Oops. Oh, well, look oh, at that. Wait, we're look already in Amsterdam. That. We're already in Amsterdam. <laughs> what? How did we get to Amsterdam that quickly? We might not Where be able to deal with this invasion. Um, no, we could probably actually can. Let's take the paratroopers. Let's see if they uh, left the ports undefended. I'm just gonna do some manual orders with the pair. Everything, everything is fine. Well, the Netherlands is almost done. Good news. But bad news: the British has landed in the Netherlands, and they've also landed in France. But there's literally zero divisions in the invasion, and they've left the port. So, uh, bruh. <laughs> Wait, what is it? Oh, I Wait, no, this. it's a Dutch naval. What? What are you doing? Why are the Dutch? What are they doing? They sent one division on a naval invasion to to France. I thought that was like a big like D-Day or something. It's like one Dutch division, and we even did a port strike. We yeah. killed a British sub. Oh, I think we just won, Bell. Alright, um, let me set up a pair drop for the, um... Okay, we're about to lose all the pro territory we're about to take. Oh, there's a lot of British divisions encircled here. Uh, let's just encircle these divisions real quick, and I'll set a pair drop up for Dover. They still haven't deployed planes in the pair drop route, so we can get to Dover from Calais, and we should be okay. Go! Yes! It went to... It went, it went, it went. All right, that's all we need. Um, let's start transporting our, our regular troops on. I'm still getting pair droppers going. I'm, I'm janking.
China's giving us our Hamlet. Um, Ooh. Okay. Happy I'm gonna say oh, yes. So happy. Wait, is the Hamlet there? The Hamlet's there. Yes. Yes. <laughs> that is so good. It's probably like a booming city of like a million people, but we just call it a Hamlet. Oh, yes! Alright, Bo, we made it to the peace deal. Alright, let's... Alright, um, you, you take Netherlands and Belgium, and I'll do the puppeting stuff with everything, alright? Alright, so what we want to do is take... Oh, come on. Just... The, the jankiness of the animation for Take All States is insane. Alright, we've taken all states. Now, we untake Corsica, and we puppet Corsica, so we get the French fleet. Uh, we see, we'll do the same for Britain. All right, now satellite everything for us, Bell. Satellite, wait, where is that? U UK? Yes. Satellite British Raj. Yep. Satellite British Raj. And yeah. Dutch East Indies. Satellite Dutch East Indies. And okay. we're done. We're done. Easy as that. Just look at South America. The ASMR oh, of owning yeah. those three provinces. Okay, actually, I really do care about, like, like Africa. Look at Africa, Bell. Go oh, whoa! Africa. 109 ships, and they're all ours. Good. Good. Wait, um, hold on. France has five divisions and 134 ships. Britain has nine divisions and 249 ships. Britain also has a 1.5k aircraft. France has 704 aircraft. Okay, we We're doing man, good. I think, I think we've just become unstoppable. Luxembourg's going to be done when? Oh, it's like another 50 days. Once we're finished <laughs> justifying on... Luxembourg. We'll go do Poland, all right? How's that sound, Bo? Hey, Bo, do you want to do a military parade? Do you see the amount of ships that are just around our land right now? Oh my gosh. Alright, let me see this. It's amazing. There's just like casual stacks of 50 like battleships around here. We gotta go take out the rest of the allies soon. But, um, so that we can go take out the United States. Oh wait, no, they're guaranteed by Canada. Alright, but we gotta start moving troops to the Canadian border. Uh, Luxembourg just got guaranteed. By who? Canada. Um... All right. What what we should do is do. Canada's only got no, but if Canada declares war on us, the United States won't be called in. Canada'll be technically in an offensive war. We hold this line with Canada with about the amount of divisions that we need to hold the tiles, and then we do an actual like uh, invasion of their port in uh, uh, down the St. Lawrence. You know what I'm saying? Could be. No, good. I do. Um, and since it's going to be soon, we don't have time. How long do we have to Luxembourg, actually? We should also send some troops down to Africa um, so that they get a little bit of participation. I'll create an army of eight divisions. Uh, I'll set them up on the border. You signed uh, commanders. I'll just create some armies real quick. I wonder if we can do Australia and New Zealand this time, actually. I'm going to try, but I don't know if the naval invasions are going to get there in time, actually. Um, but we actually own the German East Indies, so we're this right next to Australia. Thing. I'm going to set um, most of our army to the area near Canada. Wait, how many uh, tiles is it here? One, two, three, four. Uh, that's five. All right, I'll just set the paratroopers over there then. Um, if they get killed, it doesn't matter because they're kind of crap. I can't hit a fallback line on this island. It's too small. Oh, Luxembourg's complete. Um, not everything is ready. Our troops are not at Canada yet. Um, so just wait a quick minute. Wait, wait a hot minute. minute. Wait a hot minute. minute. Yeah, we got only two divisions here, and we are not securing the actual border with Canada. Uh, all our naval invasions are ready, but I don't think the troops have actually made it yet. If they're garrisoning the port here, Bo, then I'm gonna be so mad the video will be cut off here. They're guarding the port.
bitte. Ich muss dich wirklich um Entschuldigung bitten, dass... Alright, I'm pause. Uh, can you? Alright, okay, see if you can win Luxembourg. Bonies, Bonies troops though. Now they better call in the rest of the, like, the, the, the alliance. Oh, Australia's in. How long is the war goal here? 125 days. New Zealand joined. Come on, South Africa, please. If South Who's Africa this? doesn't join, it's fine. Bulgaria wants to help our efforts. No, they're going to take our war score. That's all they're going to do. All right, Bo, stop attacking Luxembourg. We're not going to win it. Let's let them... Oh, they're both leaving Luxembourg. As soon as they leave Luxembourg, move that division in, all right? You see what I'm saying? Oh, then yes. They're guarding the port, but we might win it. Set out the planes. Uh oh, we don't oh, have yeah, range. Oh, yeah, you got 90%. You have 90% on the port. You're fine. We don't have range. Oh, no, the planes have range. Oh, no, they're moving another division in. Seven days. Oh, it's 91. Oh, thank goodness. That Australian division was about to go to the port. I think South Africa's feeling a little intimidated. Uh, let's withdraw our troops uh, from the border so that they will get called in. South Africa? Yeah, they're feeling intimidated by our troops, I think. Oh, All right, not. just hit five times real quick. Oh, we're at 95 on the port. I'm gonna need to pause the game once the uh, port head has been secured. Um, because I'm gonna need to get those tanks in. Oh, we're secure, we're secure. Uh, All right, can I pause? I'm, nope, I'm just moving the uh, troops in. Uh, and setting an offensive line over to Vancouver. Okay, I don't know what what is wrong with South Africa, but uh, yeah, we're justifying on you. So join or die, <laughs> death or dishonor. You know what I'm saying, Bo? Death or dishonor, indeed, Sandstone. Thing. Why haven't they joined forces yet? Um, let's check the factions. I don't know. They're supposed to join together. Why could we no longer invite them to the faction? Because they have strategic reasons not to ally. Did they fail, like, something? What? <laughs> Come on. Come on, guys. Join the faction. We're reforming central central powers. What do, what do they do? They probably just messed us up. Oh, no, no, no. They just get unaligned support. And then it enables decisions for them once their unaligned support is high enough to reform the um, Austro-Hungarian Empire and join the Central Powers. So it might be a few yeah, years, but we we have time. We have time. The jank is do it, huh? Lazai fair, you know what I'm saying? Let do. All right. Jank, jank. Let the us jank, jank. And let us run free. Alright, I'm just going to give this division a quick order just to stay in Quebec because we cannot have oh, Quebec they failing. Out. They took out the little division. Uh, we just got the peace conference. Oh, thank goodness. Wait, no. What? New Zealand? 
They took 13 casualties. Uh, now I have to go take them out again. If South Africa's the major in the Allies, then we can just run another naval invasion. As But it'll have to have, like, the full 10 divisions in it. So, all right. Um, take, oh, wait, we, don't, we don't have enough uh, war score. We got to untake Australia. All right. End the turn. Pass. All right, Pat. All right. And you take Australia. Thank Actually, Bob, I've got an idea. Good. Don't take Australia. Oh, wait, wait never mind. Just take we're Australia. We're going to take this stuff. No, we're going to take this stuff. All right. Is that what Australian okay. originally? You want to end the turn? Uh, yeah. Do you want to, are you thinking about puppeting Australia? Maybe you puppet half of it. We take, we no, take let's just good take half. everything in Australia. Because um, it's going to be a pain to annex the rest of them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just going to be more convoys. There we go. And yeah. we're done. Sadly, we are out of time today, though. I hope you did enjoy this episode of Bo's Empire and the uh, and the German Empire. We did uh, quite a bit of good work today, this episode, Bo. And next episode, we're going to take out the uh, last remnants of the Allies. we got to beat them three times, Bo. Indeed three we times. do. South Africa is still the um, faction leader, so if we set up another um, moderate to large naval invasion of New Zealand, we will uh, have them take more casualties. Oh wait, Poe, the naval invasion's been on the whole time, so this one division's just been going in a loop where it just naval invades and just gets defeated. <laughs> That's so good. Oh, God. All right, well, thank you very much for watching. Be sure to go check out our uh, Discord channel. And um, uh, be sure to hit like and subscribe if you so care to. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye. Indeed you will. Goodbye.